improve your server making experience with these very useful tools. Some even helping you save quite a bit of time. These are tools you really should be using and ones that I actually use all the time. And before we start, when I say tools, I'm not talking about bots. All right, you ready? Let's go. Power toys. All right, let's start with a small but very useful tool. Well, technically set of tools. Power toys is something I use all the time as it packs some pretty useful features in it. And would you know, some of them are actually very useful for Discord. Let's take a look at those. The color picker. Making colorless rolls, invisible profile banners, and minimal embeds has never been quicker. If you're making a colorless embed, all you need to do is hit a shortcut on your keyboard, and there you go. That color is now on your clipboard, so all you need to do is paste it. Now there's no need to constantly search up videos to find the right color. That Discord keeps changing. Of course, you wouldn't need to do that anyway if you had server making assets pack, since all the colors are in one place. And every time Discord changes a color, which is quite often, update to the latest version and you'll get the new colors. Check the link in the description to get it for free. The image resizer. Ever try to upload an emoji and you get hit with an error message saying the file is too large? I imagine some people may load up an image compressor to compress the file size to the point where it gets under the limit. It's a good solution, but my way's easier. Alright, I've got this image here. You may recognise this. Trouble is, it's a bit too big. As you can see, if we look down here, it is 1.17 megabytes, and the max file size for an emoji is 256 kilobytes, so we're way over that limit. Now, what if all you had to do to get this small enough was right click, show more options, because Windows 11, and go to resize with image resizer. And in the user interface here, we can type anything we want. So this is the amount of pixels we resize it to. So at the moment, it's 3840 by 3840. We can make it something as small as 720 by 720. Or how I like to do it is just change this to percent. And change this to about, let's say, 20% of the original size. Let's resize that. And we'll get this file right here. There we go. It's 212 kilobytes. So I got lucky there. And if it's still over the file size, just decrease it again. And just like that, we will be able to upload this now. Pretty cool, right? To wrap up this section, I should probably say that Power Toys is made by Microsoft, so it's Windows only. There might be a Mac equivalent, I don't know, but if anyone does, please comment below. Disco Hook Alright, this part is good for those who have never heard of Disco Hook, but also those who use it all the time, so everyone wins here. Alright, what Disco Hook is, is an embed builder. Embeds are one of absolutely the best ways to make your server worlds better. Why settle for this? Just a standard message right here with some format into it, when you can create this. Seriously, embed's good. Now, I actually made these two servers here in a previous video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a card right now. But anyway, if you do make embeds already, but you make them with a bot, I'd recommend switching over to Disco Hook for the simple fact that it is much more customizable. This you can change the avatar and the name of the webhook that posts the embeds. Whereas with a bot, it would say something like Coral Bot and it would have a turtle emoji. And you can't do anything about that. Some bots you can of course pay for premium or whatever, but you can do all this for free, which is the beauty of Disco Hook. Now, I won't show you how to use Disco Hook since I've already got a video on that. Just bear in mind the UI changes. But what I will show you is great if you use Disco Hook. And if you don't, stick around because I've got another great tip coming up. And even if you don't use Disco Hook, you can benefit from it. Anyway, you may sometimes be in a situation where you're making an embed, but you need to take a break or maybe come back the next day. The only trouble is you haven't finished it yet, and you wouldn't want to lose your progress now, would you? What if all you had to do was go to the address bar up here and, well, literally as simple as that, I didn't even have time to explain it. So anyway, literally all you have to do is highlight the address bar here, make sure you've got everything selected, and just drag that down here. Or of course you can just go to the bookmark icon up here and create a bookmark this way. And what you could do is you can name this something you want. So this right here is a welcome channel. So I just call this welcome channel and press save. And it's created this bookmark right here. And you can go a step further if you're doing this often. You could right click anywhere on the bookmark bar, go to add folder and then create a folder called embeds. And just drop that in there. And let's say it's the next day and I no longer have that tab. All I need to do is click that right there. And there we go. It's taking me right back exactly where I left off. And it really couldn't be easier than that. Okay, this is a tip I think everyone will love. If you don't have Nitro, and you've ever tried to put an animated emoji in an embed, you'll know that it's just not possible. Well, you're wrong. Because with Disco Hook's own bot, which you can invite via the website, you can simply type the command slash format emoji, and it will come up with all your emojis here. I know this one right here is animated, and this is the one I want to put in my bed. So I just click that one, press enter, and as you can see, it's animated right here, so we know it's the right one, and it will give you this long code right here. If you copy that and try to put it in the embed, there you go, just like that. Now this right here is exactly the same as just putting a backward slash before an emoji and copying that. The only difference is if you don't have Nitro, you can't do that with an animated emoji. There you go, saved you three bucks. Discord Canary and Discord PTB. 
are separate versions of Discord that give you access to experimental changes early, but that's not the neat part. Since they are completely separate, you can have multiple instances of Discord running at the same time. In certain circumstances, you may be changing some settings in your server and you want to preview the changes. Often, you'll have to close the whole menu to see the change and then go back in if you need to change it again. Rinse and repeat and it gets quite tedious, but worry no longer. With multiple discords open, you can have one window where you're editing the settings and on the right have say Canary, open to a different menu and you can see the changes as you do them. Or even have three windows open with PTB as well. And yes, you can be signed into the same account on each window. Now unfortunately mobile users won't be able to use Canary or PTB, but Discord don't care about platform parity now do they? Quick emojis. Want to put an emoji in your channel or role name? Don't waste time loading your browser, searching for the thing, copying it and then pasting it. Nobody's got time for that. When you're setting the channel name, all you have to do is hit Windows period, or full stop if you're British. All the emojis you can imagine in a tiny convenient panel right here. So I want to put this start emoji here. There we go. Just like that, just click it and it's done. Right there. If this doesn't work for you, then you're probably not on Windows. For devices like Mac, there's probably a similar feature. So let us know below. Do you have multiple of the same channel? say a music voice channel. If you do, you can spice them up with some smaller numbers for both. Right here, they're both labeled one or two, but I don't know about you, personally, I don't think this looks good enough. So I wanna change that. So all we have to do is go online and search up a subscript or superscript generator. Let's go with superscript. Um, you can pick any one you want. I'm gonna go to this one here. And what I wanna do is have a small number one and a small number two. So I'm gonna type those on the left here. And as you can see, it will output a smaller version of that same text. So let's copy that, go back to Discord and let's go in the channel name. And as you can see, if I paste that, it's put these small numbers here. And there you go, pretty neat. Timestamp generators. Did you know you can make custom countdowns to a certain event or deadline? Let me introduce you to timestamps. Timestamps are handy tooltips that display a certain date, which can be used to, say, represent a release date that counts down as a deadline gets closer. The beauty of these timestamps is that they adapt to your time zone. For me it might say 2pm, but if someone else is 5 hours behind, the time would say 9am. Timestamps also come in multiple styles and are very easy to make. Alas, you do need a tool to make them. Now that kind of tool is called a Unix timestamp generator. If you want a guide on how to use such a tool, I've got a tutorial about that. Just click the card now to watch it. After this video of course. Server making assets pack. Let's not kid ourselves. Making a server takes a lot of time, especially if you're serious about it. Not only do you need to set up all the channels and roles, if you want a truly well-made server, you'll also need to invest some time into making graphics. For example, the server logo, role icons, and headers. The list goes on. And to make particularly appealing graphics, you're unfortunately gonna need quite a bit of experience. And not everyone has time for that. That's where Server Making Assets Pack comes in. Save time making your server's graphics by simply opening up a template, customizing the text, and there you go. You made yourself an attractive header or logo with just a few clicks. And there's much more than just the templates. With tons of roll icons, advanced emojis for your embeds, and much more. Trust me, you'll save a lot of time with this. And it's completely free, unless you want the more special features like roll icons and banners. Like the other tools on this list, I make use of this one as well. And I know I'm obliged to say that since it is my product, but I do mean that. And that's a wrap. What do you think of these tools? Now, let's have a change of pace. Let's go and rank the best and worst things Discord has been adding. See you there.